John Beltran back with you from the Digger Dome and Brush. Momentarily, we'll have the starting lineups between the Lady Bee Diggers and the Lady Indians of Strasburg. Bee Digger starting lineup brought to you by Equitable Savings and Loan. Proud to be Northeast Colorado's locally owned hometown savings and loan. With locations in Fort Morgan, Sterling, and Brush. Available 24-7 for your banking needs. That is Equitable Savings and Loan. The Bee Diggers will go with Matty Curra, Jr., Senior Lauren Berg in the front court, along with Junior Aurora Thomas, Senior Callie Bills, and Senior Cami Sweeney. The visiting Indians go with Caitlin Hanks, along with Jordan Rush, Jordan Resch, Riley Spence, Bryce Hopwood, and Erica Elpers. Hanks a senior, Resch is a senior, Spence a senior, Hopwood a junior, and Elpers a senior. The Bee Diggers are coached by Bill Nichols, assisted by Aaron Berg. Strasburg is coached by Mercy Ames. She's been there for a long time. Very accomplished head coach. Assisted by Tracy Elpers, Alyssa Callway, Tanya Hanks, and Leslie Saylor. And this Bee Digger squad showed last Friday <clears throat> that they've got a lot of talent. They won on the road against Platte Valley, which is a pretty decent team in the Patriot League. Of course, the cream of the crop is Sterling, who the Lady Bee Diggers will face on Friday. <laughs> now here we go. Let's see if Cammie Sweeney or Lauren Berg will be jumping center for Brush. It will be Erica Elpers in the middle there for Strasburg. Opening tip tonight is brought to you by Buildings by Design, the experience to complete your project from start to finish. Get the quality you deserve in your building by starting your build project right. Start with Buildings by Design. And it will be Berg jumping center against Elpers. Now Strasburg has their road blacks, but they have white numerals and white lettering. You can see those numerals clearly. Tip is controlled by Brush. Bills hands it off to Thomas. Thomas at the top, guarded by Hanks. Thomas to her left to Matty Kerr. Kerr looking down low, left corner for Berg. Lauren Berg swings it inside through the hands of Thomas. Good pass, but she didn't catch it. Intercepted by Hanks. On the outside right, Spence takes a three. Yes, Riley Spence from long distance scores. The Indians lead three to nothing. Thomas the other way on the outside left for Kerr. Looking towards that left corner. Kerr cross court to Berg. She puts up a three. And that's off the bottom of the backboard. Missed by Bills. Bills looking for it. Kerr gets it. Banks and scores. On the left baseline for Matty Kerr. Here Spence the other way for Strasburg. Right of the lane. Cross court pass. Take it over there by Rush. Rush with the basketball. Straight away to Hanks. Back to Jordan Rush. Looking, bounce pass down low, intercepted, poked away by Sweeney, taken away by Bills. First turnover by Strasburg, Thomas with a basketball. Back out to Kerr on the high left. 6.40 to go, opening quarter. Strasburg, three brush, two terrible bounce pass, intended for Sweeney, intercepted by Hank. She goes all the way, blocked by Kerr. Nice job by Maddie Kerr, she made up for that error. Kerr the other way, long pass to Berg, banks and scores with a left hand. Lauren Berg has given Brush a 4-3 to three lead. Into the front court, Spence in the high right with a basketball. Spence back out to Hanks. Hanks over to Rush. Straight away, Hanks takes a wide open three. Yes. Second triple for Strasburg. The Indians lead six to four with six minutes to go in the first. 
Maddie Kerr, right baseline to Bills. Bills jump past to Sweeney. She banks it in. Nice look by Callie Bills, and Sweeney makes it a 6-6 game. Offense is looking good so far. Hanks down low to Elpers. Back to Hanks. Three in the air. Back rimmed it. Ball is tipped around once, twice. Taken away by the Bee Diggers after it was missed there by Elpers. Sweeney comes away with the basketball. And Maddie Kerr into the front court with five and a half to go. Deadlocked at six. On the outside right to Thomas. Straight away to Berg. Lauren Berg on the high right to Bills. Her shot is off the back of the rim from 15. And the rebound is controlled over there by Hopwood. There's the outlet to Spence. Spence over to Hanks. Not a rush. Left corner with a basketball now is Elpers. Cross-court pass, Hanks wide open, right baseline shot, no good. Callie Bills grabs the rebound for the beat diggers. There's the outlet to Thomas. Thomas, long pass to Sweeney, banks and misses. An easy layup with the left hand. Elpers comes away with the rebound. Now to Hanks, good look there, but Cammy didn't finish. On the high left is Resch with the basketball. In the left corner, back to Elpers. Swings it over to Hanks. Check that, that's Spence. Spence, crossover dribble on the left baseline. Guarded by Kerr, stripped away by Kerr. Kerr, two on two, middle of the lane, lost it, got it back. Over to Bills, right corner. Here's Thomas, her shot is up and around and no good. Rebound, Sweeney, banks and misses again. Rebound is controlled by Strasburg, but they throw it away. Hanks had it, but threw it away. B-Digger basketball, Kerr to throw it in. We're still tied at six with 4.18 to go in the first quarter. Thomas for Brush at the top. Left side for Kerr in the left corner for Berg. Berg looking down low, swings at the Bills. Bills on the outside right to Thomas. Three-pointer, good! Just behind the three-point line was Aurora Thomas. And the B-Diggers now have a 9-6 to six lead with 3.54 to go. First quarter on the high left. Rush with a basketball. Over to Elpers, dribbling to her right. Back out to Rush. In the left corner, here's Spence penetrating left baseline. Bounce pass is knocked off a body. Taken away by the Bee Diggers. No. Kerr had it, but she was on the floor. They called for traveling. And Quincy Segelke checks in along with Matty Rule. And to throw it in will be Hanks. She's going to find Spence. Bounce pass down low for Hopwood. Tied up by Berg. Possession arrow stays with the Indians. Yeah, she turned right into Berg, in fact. Hanks to throw it in again. Caitlin Hanks looking. Bounce pass inside. Shot is blocked out of there by Segelke. Taken away there as it was taken by Elpers. Bounce pass inside, and that ball is knocked out of bounds. It is off of Strasburg. And Segelke with a beautiful block. And to throw it in is Matty Rule. Rule looking. Right corner for Bills. Three in the air. Yes! Callie Bills with a triple from the corner. Four bead diggers have scored. They lead 12 to 6. 3.19 to go. First quarter. Rush on the outside left. Bounce pass inside for Hopwood. But we've got a foul from behind. Lauren Burr got it with a body. That'll be the first foul committed by either side and Hanks to trigger it in bounce pass to Hopwood back out towards Spence ball knocked away intercepted by Rule Rule middle of the lane bounce pass to Thomas 15 footer left wing is around and no good and the rebound is controlled by Elpers that's her third board the outlet over to Spence across the timeline three minutes to go in the first B diggers by six jump pass left wing three in the air Hanks Back rimmed it, and going high for the rebound is Segelke, and we've got to travel. Segelke got it, but called for the violation. Hanks to throw it in. Bounce pass right corner for Hopwood, picked up by Segelke, back out to Spence. Right corner, Hanks, 15-footer air ball, and the ball is off the leg of Callie Bills out of bounds. As she fought for the basketball along with Elper, Strasburg again. Retains possession. Inbounds pass to Elper. Straight away to Spence. Here is Hanks. Right corner for Spence. Dribbles to her left. Backs up for a three. And that's off the back of the rim. Lauren Berg grabs the rebound. That's her first. There's the outlet to Rule. 
2.33 to go. Rule outside right to Thomas. Fakes the three, dribbles, steps in, lob down low for Burke. She was fouled on the entry pass. She was fouled by Erica Elpers. That's her first. The bead diggers are on a 6 nothing run here as Rule will throw it in. Roll to the left of the basket. Strasburg boys defeated Brush tonight, 45-42. Roll looking. Feeds it down low for Segelke. Banks it in from the right side. Nice cut by Segelke. And five different bead diggers have scored here in the opening quarter. 14-6 Brush. On the high right with the basketball. Resch at the free throw line. Jump pass to Hanks. Wide open left wing three. In and out. And going high for the rebound. Segelke can't get it. Loose in the floor. Batted down by Hanks over to Elper. She puts it up and misses. And Lauren Berg has the rebound for the Bee Diggers. Here comes Brush the other way. And Aurora Thomas commits the offensive foul. She tried to put up a shot. Riley Spence had position. And the Bee Diggers turn it over for a fourth time. Just over two minutes to go in the opening quarter. And the Bee Diggers have scored the last eight points of the game, leading 14-6. to six. Hanks on the high right to Resch. Guarded by Segelke. Swings it left side. Over to Hanks. Sagging just a bit of Thomas. In the left corner for Hopwood. Bounce pass down low in the lane for Elpers. Back out to Spence. Steps back. Jump pass inside. Elpers turns, banks, and misses. But the rebound to Elpers, and then she's tied up. Possession arrow brush. Elpers has grabbed five rebounds for Strasburg. Cammy Sweeney in for Lauren Berg. A minute 36 to go in the opening quarter. Grocery meat in Fresh Deli Counties, Floral Pharmacy, Western Union, and Public Service Payments. That's the Brush Grocery Card. Brush Grocery Card, 1302 West Edison Street. Of course, here in Brush, lob to Sweeney in the lane. Jump pass to Thomas. Thomas hooks up a shot, misses badly. Sweeney with a rebound to Bills, 10-footer, good. Cali Bill scores. Bills now with five. Strasburg needs a timeout. The Bead Diggers are on a 10-0 run. A minute 14 to go in the first. And this brush team is looking very good right now, holding the 10-point lead. We'll keep it right here. The leading agriculture lender in the area is Premier Farm Credit. Member owned and committed to sharing the profits through their patronage program. In Sterling, Fort Morgan, Yuma, and Holyoke. That is Premier Farm Credit. Maddie Kerr is going to check back in. Both Maddies are out there. Kerr and Rule along with Thomas. Bills. Oh, no. No, it's going to happen now. Nope. Kerr cannot check in yet. So Thomas, Rule, Segelke, Bills, and Sweeney for brush. Strasburg basketball. Here is Hanks on the outside right to Spence. Dribbles to her left, gets a pick. Guarded by Segel. He's spinning, looking, hands it off to Hanks. Hanks, left corner pass, rush, 10-footer, air ball. Segel key with a nice takeaway by the B diggers. Over to Thomas. Thomas in the left corner to Bills. Wide open three is no good off the back of the rim. And the rebound to Hanks. Strasburg wants to run. Hanks, middle of the lane, all the way. Defender in the air. Banks and misses. Rebound, Elpers. Banks and misses again. Rebound to Thomas. Now here come the B-Diggers. Here's Thomas, right wing three. Nope, that's short. But the rebound to Segelke. Leans, Banks, and scores. Segelke is a tremendous athlete. What a great athlete. 18-6. to six. The B-Diggers on a 12-0 run. 23 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Rush with the basketball on the high left. Swings it to Elpers. Bounce pass, left baseline. Hanks shot is up and off the back of the rim. Segelke grabs her fifth rebound over to Bills. Now to Segelke, now to Rule. Nine seconds to go. Rule left of the free throw line. Back out to Segelke with five. Straight away, Thomas. Three is up and off the back of the rim. And Hopwood grabs the rebound. That is the end of the opening quarter. A good one for the Bee Diggers. It is Brush 18. Strasburg 6 on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. 18-6 brushes. We head to the second quarter. I'm John Beltran for Brush High School. 
Looking for the split tonight after the Strasburg boys won the earlier game, 45-42. It will be Indians basketball. Here's Caitlin Hanks. They have not made a substitution yet over to Jordan Resch. Resch dribbling to her left. In the left corner, here's Hanks dribbling left to the lane. Then the ball is stripped away in a tie-up. Possession arrow, Brush. Yeah, the B-Diggers played a tremendous first quarter. And they're on a defensive run right now besides an offensive run. Rule, Kerr, Sweeney, Segelke, and Berg for Brush. Rule on the high right to Segelke. Bounce pass down low, taken by Berg. And then the ball is intercepted. Not intercepted, just taken away there by Spence. Spence outside right, bounce pass down low. Foul for behind Segelke. Commits the foul for the B-Diggers on the entry pass. That's her first, the team's third. Strasburg has committed just one foul, a pretty clean game played so far. Hanks to throw it in on the outside right to Resch, guarded by Segelke. Dribbling to her left. Baseball pass cross court off the hand of Hanks out of bounds. Yeah, that's just not fundamentally sound. Turnover number five for Strasburg. And the Indians now are back on the defensive end with the beat diggers coming the other way. Kerr at the top for Brush. Retreating. Swings it high left for Rule. At the top for Berg. Berg looking, still looking. Left side Rule. Fakes the three. Left corner for Segel. He dribbles left baseline all the way. Scoops it up to open air ball though. And the rebound to Erica Elper. She's already got seven. The outlet pass nearly stolen. Oh, Kerr looked like she had position. There was contact there between Kerr and Spence. And they're going to say Kerr committed the foul. She did not have the position for the steal. Fourth team foul. Or no, that is against Spence. The bead diggers were moving the other way, but I, I thought Kerr had position. So that also goes as a turnover for Strasburg. There's six bead digger basketball, three quarters court. 6.55 to go second quarter. Strasburg has not scored in several minutes. Rule near that left corner. Bounce pass left baseline. Knocked out of bounds by Spence. With the bead diggers retaining possession in that left corner. Rule to throw it in. Rule holds the ball up high. Over to Kerr. Kerr takes a left wing three. Good! Maddie Kerr nails the triple. She's got five. The bead diggers are on a 15-0 run leading 21-6. Spence the other way, straight away, three, good. That ends the run for Brush. Three threes for Strasburg. They're down by 12, 21-9, 6.28 to go. Kerr in the lane, all the way, off the glass, too strong. And the rebound controlled by Bryce Hopwood. There's the outlet to Spence. Spence at the top of the basketball, picked up by Rule, now guarded by Kerr. And then, did she lose the ball, or was it knocked away? Technical foul. There is a tech on Riley Spence. Yeah, I think the ball, there was definitely contact and no whistle. She didn't like that. Yeah, I think the bead diggers caught a break there because there should have been a whistle on the contact. So now Maddie Rule with two free throws, and the bead diggers have the ball, and the free throw is up and off the back of the rim. Second free throw upcoming for Rule. That one is up, and she made that one. Spence now with two fouls, and the Beat Diggers have the basketball. Up by 13, 22 to 9, 6 16 to go, second quarter. Thomas just back into the game with a basketball against Caitlin Hanks. Dribbles to her left. Spins, picks up the dribble, pass over to Rule. She banks and scores on the right block from about eight feet away is Maddie Rule. She's got three. The Bee Diggers up by 15, 24 to 9, 555 to go. First substitution, and that is Laramie Stone. Here is Hanks over to Rush. Rush with the basketball at the top, picked up by Segelke. Bee Diggers playing some pressure defense. Maintains the dribble, jump pass to Elpers, turns, banks, misses, rebound to Berg. Here is Maddie Rule with the basketball. Rule across the timeline, 
Rule swings it to Thomas. Three is no good. Berg, though, grabs a rebound for the B-Diggers. Her fourth over to Sweeney. Inside to Segelke. Turns and misses the shot. Erica Elpers is a rebounding machine. She's got eight. The outlet pass taken by Hopwood on the bounce. Back out to Hanks. 5.17 to go second quarter. Brush 24. And Strasburg 9. With a basketball on the outside right of Stone. Swings it over to Resch. Resch in front of the beat digger bench. Back out to Hanks. Crossover dribble. Guarded by Rule very tightly. Gets a pick. Dribbling right baseline is Hanks. Then she's tripped up by Segelke. And that'll be the 14th foul. Segelke commits her second. And Hanks to trigger it in. And here comes Callie Bills in for Cami Sweeney. This is quite the strong squad that Coach Nichols has, without a doubt. In the right corner, penetrating, shooting is Hanks and scoring. On the right baseline, Kaitlin Hanks. She's got five. Brush 24, Strasburg 11, 4.42 to go before halftime. Rule, left corner, three, around and good! It got every part of the rim and went down for Matty Rule. Rule was six in the quarter and the game. The B-Diggers have their biggest lead at 16, 27, 11. Stone at the free throw line. Outside right for Hanks, gets a pick, pulls up 15-footer, a brick. But the rebound is controlled there by Strasburg. The rest shot is up and around and no good. She's got the rebound, and then her shot is blocked out of bounds by Segelke. Nice job of Segelke catching up. The Indians to throw it in. And to throw it in will be Hanks. Back out to Hopwood. Straight away to Stone. Back out to Resch. Right corner Stone. And away from the ball. A whistle. And it's going to stay right there. Segelke tried to run through a pick. That's her third foul, the team's fifth. She's going to take a seat on the bench here for Maddie Kerr, I'm sure. And to throw it in is going to be Hanks in the right corner for Elpers. Back out to Stone, picks up the dribble, and then her cross-court pass poked away by Rule, but taken by Hanks. Another pass is knocked away, intercepted by the B-Diggers. Thomas, three on one, bounce pass to Kerr, shot is blocked. Loose in the floor, picked up by Stone, and there's a tie-up possession arrow goes to Strasburg. Bills tied her up. B-Diggers pressuring in the backcourt. Stone crossing midcourt with 3.52 to go second quarter. Brush 27, Strasburg 11. Back on the outside left is Resch against Kerr behind the three-point line. Looking, still looking. She might get caught for five seconds. And then the ball's poked out of bounds by Kerr. She got bailed out. Rush to throw it in three-quarters court. Lobs it near the timeline. That's an over and back. I was caught in the front court by Hanks. Then she dribbled into the back court. Turnover number nine for Strasburg. The beat diggers with only five. And here comes Brush the other way. Aurora Thomas guarded loosely by Hanks. Lobs it inside, try to throw it over the defense. Luckily, Bills caught it, takes a dribble. She's stripped from behind, gets it back now to Berg. 15-footer, good. Lauren Berg with an excellent shot. Berg now has four. The B-Diggers lead 29-11. to This game was tied at six, but the B-Diggers on a 23-5 to run. And then Kerr nearly stripping Rush, and then she double dribbled. Let's see if that's going to be overruled because there was contact. Yep. Yeah, Kerr did get a hand on it, so it'll stay with Strasburg. That was not a double dribble. Rush to throw it in. Bounce pass near midcourt. Poked out of bounds by Rule. 3-10 remaining. Opening half, and the Indians retain possession. Backcourt pass to Stone. Stone dribbling high right, spinning on Thomas at the free throw line, in the lane, and then a traveling violation. Yeah, Strasburg with no rhythm right now. They've got 11 points and 10 turnovers. And the B-Diggers are doing something about that offensively. Maddie 
Kerr for Brush at the top. Maintains the dribble, picks up the dribble, bounce pass high left for Rule. She steps in all the way, left baseline, her floaters up and no good. Rebound, Berg banks it in. To the right of the basket, Lauren Berg with six points and five rebounds. Brush leads by 20, 31-11. Right side with the basketball is Resch, jump pass to Stone, right of the free throw line. Right corner, Resch, 15-foot floater, around and no good. The rebound put back is up and no good by Elpers, but a foul. She will shoot two. Berg commits her second foul. And here are two free throws to be attempted by Erica Elpers. First is up and in. Molly Link is in for Brush. Along with Haley Unrein. Second free throw upcoming for Elpers. That is up and that is good as well. The Bay Diggers 31, the Indians 13. Aurora Thomas for Brush, two and a half to go. Right side to Kerr. Kerr dribbles towards the free throw line. In the lane, pulls up, shot off the back of the rim, and in! The high bounce for Kerr. Maddie Kerr now with seven. Bay Diggers back up by 20, 33-13. In the right corner, Stone, double team, tied up by Bills. Possession arrow, Brush. And now Unrein comes the other way with Kerr. Two minutes and eight seconds to go first half. It's been a banner one for Brush. Bounce pass to Unrein. Back out to Bills. Cross court pass to Thomas. Fakes that shot. Dribbles towards the right baseline. Swings it over to Unrein. Now to Bills. Her shot is up and good. Callie Bills on the right wing from about 15 feet away. She's got seven. B-Diggers lead by 22. 35-13. Resch on the high right for Strasburg. A minute 45 to go. Swings it back out to Stone. Down low. Here's Elpers. Turns. Banks. Scores. Elpers now with four. The beat digger lead is still hefty at 20. 35-15. A minute 32 to go. Unrind just beyond midcourt. Over to Kerr. Kerr. Cross court pass to Bills. Inside. Boy, there was nobody there. I mean, Unrind was in the area, but not a good pass by Bills. Turnover number six for Brush. As the ball went out of bounds. Hanks comes the other way for the Indians. On the high right to Resch. Resch then traveled. Yeah, she picked up that foot and then the other foot. It's the type of night it's been for Strasburg so far with 12 turnovers. And the B-Diggers have it with a minute 20 to go. Looking to match their biggest lead of 22. They're at 20 now. Matty Kerr at the controls. Man-to-man defense here for Strasburg. Kerr. Dribbling high left, picks up the dribble, free throw line for Bills, jump pass to Thomas, double teamed, and then she's tied up, possession arrow to Strasburg. Yeah, Thomas needed to kick that somewhere else as soon as she got double teamed. The Indians come the other way. Hanks at the top, gets a pick, dribbles to her left, bounce pass inside, is intercepted by Link and tied up there by... Faith Renault of Strasbourg. Possession arrow again, this time in favor of Brush. The game getting very choppy here in the last minute. Thomas behind the back at the free throw line. Bounce pass to Kerr. Kerr fakes the three, steps in, gets a defender in the air over to Unrein. In the left corner for Bills. Lob down low for Link. In the lane, turns, and she traveled before the shot. With 41.3 seconds to go, and Brush up by 20. And all we've seen in the last minute are a bunch of turnovers here. By both sides. Hanks the other way. Dribbling on the outside left. Pulls up for a three. That's off the back of the rim. The ball is loose. Still loose. And Unrein has it for the beat diggers. Tracking down her first rebound. Over to Thomas. 24 seconds to go. Thomas in the high right. In the right corner for Kerr. Back out towards Link. Now here's Unrein. On the high left to Bills. Left corner to Thomas. 14 seconds remaining. Swings it straight away to Kerr. Wide open three. Yes! Maddie Kerr with the triple. Her second of the game. Eight in the quarter, ten in the game. B-Diggers by 23. Rest shot is up and around and no good. Rebound to Link. And that is the end of the opening half. One dominated by the Brush B-Diggers. It's Brush 38, Strasburg 15. 
Let's take a three-minute break back in three minutes on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. 38-15, the Brush Girls as we head to the third against Strasburg. And that Berg-Bills combination really was something at halftime. Jerry Bills and Kurt Berg just grabbing rebound after rebound as they had their little three-point contest for a chance to win some soda. Leaders of soda. All right, the Indians to throw it in. Erica Elpers, Bryce Hopwood, along with Caitlin Hanks, Faith Renault on the inbounds passer. Jordan Resch, I think Riley Spence might have been ejected from the game. I don't know, unless I didn't think she was ejected. I think Coach Mercy Ames has kept her on the bench. The Indians have the basketball. Elpers in the left corner. B-Diggers have Lauren Berg, Maddie Kerr, Aurora Thomas, Callie Bills, and Cami Sweeney. Hank straight away on the outside left to Renault. Bounce pass. Left baseline. Elpers 15-footer short. And the rebound is controlled by Sweeney. A long rebound. Looking for the outlet. Finds Kerr. The B-Diggers have been in control since going in that 12-0 run. Making a 15-0 run in the opening half. Thomas lobbed down low for Sweeney. Triple team back out to Bills. Shot is up and around. No good from 15 into Berg. Banks and misses. And the rebound is into the hands of Hopwood. Berg did grab her sixth rebound. Hopwood with her fourth. On the high right, Resch with the ball for Strasburg. In the right corner. Over to Hopwood. Back to Resch. Dribbles into the lane. Back out straight away to Renault. And then the ball intended for Hanks. Tipped out of bounds by Kerr. Three quarters court in front of the Strasburg bench. The Indians to throw it in with Hanks. Hanks back out to Renault. Over to Resch. Just moving the ball around methodically. Bounce pass in the high right for Hopwood. Lobs it down low. Intended for Elpers. Take it away by Thomas. Turnover number 14. Kerr with the basketball. Middle of the lane. In the lane. Floats it up around. No good. And the ball is rebounded on a hop there by Jordan Resch, her third board. Long baseball pass is intercepted by Aurora Thomas. Thomas the other way, doesn't have the numbers. Two on three to Berg, banks and scores! Oh, but Berg was still able to put it up. She does a great job of just taking the ball and shooting. B-Diggers 40, the Indians 15, 621 to go. Third quarter from Brush. Renault back out near the top. Over to Resch, guarded by Kerr. Left-handed dribble, swings it left side to Renault, well behind the three-point line. Back to her right against Berg, looking, still looking. Lobs it, intercepted by Kerr, two on one. Kerr bounce pass to Berg, she banks it in. Lauren Berg, now in the game, has got ten points. The Bay Diggers lead by 27, 42-15. They're going to clear the bench before this game's over. Three is up and no good by Hanks. And the rebound is controlled by Bills. There's the outlet to Thomas with 5.45 to go in the third. Thomas straight away with a basketball. Swings it high left for Kerr. Kerr at the top now for Berg. Down low for Sweeney. Off her hands out of bounds. Turnover number nine for the Bee Diggers. Been a long night here for Strasburg in this game. Rush the other way for the Indians. On the high left to Renault. Left corner for Elpers. They just move it around. As the B-Diggers lead by 27. Left corner with a pass. Renault down low intended for Elpers. And ball was knocked out of bounds. Might have been kicked there. As the Indians retain possession. And this one-sided affair led by Brush. 42-15. to Rush. Swings it right corner for Hanks. She'll take the three. That's off the front of the rim. Cami Sweeney with a rebound for the B-Diggers. Here is Thomas. Swings it down low for Berg. She banks and misses. Berg goes for the rebound, but it's poked into the hands of Faith Renault. Renault comes the other way with 4.48 to go. Third quarter. And the B-Diggers lead by 27. Right. Rush in the left corner. Back out to, well, that's a player we don't have on the roster here into the game number 10. She's got the ball in the left corner. Lobs it down low for Elpers. Left baseline, backs, banks, and misses. 
Maddie Kerr with a rebound for Brush. Long pass to Thomas. And then her cross-court pass tipped away, taken by Sweeney. And she puts it up, and she misses a 10-footer. Berg has it over to Bills. 15-footer is off the rim. And the rebound into the hands of Caitlin Hanks. Hanks the other way for Strasburg. Into the lane, foul by Kerr. First foul by either team in this half. And we have 4.09 to go. And to throw it in is going to be Hanks. Back out to Renault. Cross court to Rush in the left corner. Poked out of bounds by Kerr. Intended for Hanks. With 4.04 to go. And the B-Diggers up by 27. All right. Indian basketball. Indians haven't scored in the quarter. And a kicking violation by Berg. Find out why Morgan Community College is the best choice for your higher education. Visit MCC online at morgancc.edu. Roland Segelke are in. Berg and Thomas are out. And Rush is out. Riley Spence is back in the game. First time since she took that technical. Right corner, Hanks. Three is up and off the back of the rim. Sweeney with a rebound. There's the outlet to Kerr. Here is Segelke, two on one. Bounce pass to Rule Banks and scores in a foul by Erica Elpers. And Maddie Rule to the line and the Bee Diggers lead by 29. A bank that is committed to their community and keeping banking simple. Morgan Federal Bank, 321 Ensign. That's Morgan Federal Bank. The free throw by Rule is up and around and good. Maddie Rule now has nine in the game. The Bee Diggers lead by 30. Long pass nearly intercepted by Bills, but she committed the foul. As she slammed into the offender. 45-15 brush. Still have over 11 and a half minutes of basketball to go. And this Strasburg team was 2-0 going in. Here is Renault in the right wing there to Elpers. Pass off the foot of Rush, intercepted by Bills. Here is Maddie Kerr. That's turnover number 17. Maddie Kerr for the B Diggers will slow it down over to Segelke. Left baseline for Bills. Back out to Segelke. At the top for Rule. Right side to Kerr. Three is up. Three is off to the left. Rebound to Sweeney. Now to Bills. 15 footer. Good. Callie Bills now has nine, and the Bee Diggers lead by 32. 47 15, a 9 0 run in this quarter. Renell looking, right baseline, bounce pass inside, turning as Elper, she misses the hook shot. Callie Bills grabs her fourth rebound. The outlet to Segelke. Segelke, front court, 10 footer is around and no good. Into the hands of Riley Spence on the rebound for Strasburg. 2.38 to go in the third. Resch behind the three-point line near that left corner. Back out towards Spence. Dribbling to her left, gets a pick, backs up long three, is well short. Callie Bills has another rebound, her fifth. There's the outlet to Kerr. With 2.19 remaining, third quarter, brush 47, Strasburg 15. Roll with a three, back rimmed it. Faith Renault with a rebound for Strasburg. Renault across the timeline, dribbling right baseline, and then she's fouled by Bills as she went up for the shot. She'll go to the line, Bills with her second. Strasburg attempted just two free throws in the opening half. So here we go with Renault shooting a free throw, and that is up, and that is good. Rattles in. And Laramie Stone back in for Strasburg. Head coach Mercy Ames is not happy. They're getting destroyed by the Bee Diggers in this building in Brush. 47-16, second free throw is off the back of the rim. Callie Bills grabs her sixth rebound. There's the outlet to Rule. Bounce pass right baseline for Segelke. Dribbles to her left, spins, turns, shoots, an air ball, and then... A foul from behind by Aurora Thomas, the team's fourth. Her second personal. Two, 
So the Indians come the other way with a minute 57 to go. In the third. Rush at the top. On the outside right, the Stone. Stone gets a pick at the free throw line through a pass that was nearly intercepted. But they retain possession. Here's Hanks. Hanks swings it inside, turning, shooting, and missing there is Spence. And a tip into the hands of Segelke. Segelke over to Rule into the front court. Rule looked like she was bodied up, no whistle. Rule maintains the dribble at the top for Bills. Right corner for Segelke. Holding the ball up high. Bounce pass kicked out of bounds by Spence. The Diggers retain possession up by 31 with a minute 23 to go in the third. Rule to trigger it in. Lobs it near the top for Thomas. Long three is off the back of the rim. The ball into the hands of Segelke in the lane. Dribbles. Bills right baseline shot. Back rimmed it. Rebound to Berg. She back rimmed it. And the rebound is controlled there by Strasburg. And now we got a tie up. Possession arrow brush. To throw it in will be Rule. Molly Link will check in. Link will be in for Bills. Rule looking. Right corner for Link. 15 footer is off the back of the rim. Rebound to Rule. Rule with the basketball. Reset the offense. Over to Thomas, lobs it down low for Berg in the lane, dribbles, and looked like she was fouled as she received the pass. And we don't have the player on the roster that committed the foul. Here is Aurora Thomas, bounce pass to Segelke towards the baseline, right corner, link shot up and off the back of the rim, just inside the three-point line it was taken from. Rebound controlled by Caitlin Hanks, that's her fourth. Hanks into the front court, pulls up. Her shot straight away is off the back of the rim from three-point range. Getting the rebound is Rush, 15-footer left baseline, rattles around, no good. And the ball is knocked out of bounds off Strasburg. 40.2 seconds to go. Olivia Vea apparently is number 10 there for Strasburg. They're applying backcourt pressure. Here is Thomas. Thomas crosses midcourt. Over to Berg, 15-footer, yes. Lauren Berg again. She's got six in the quarter, 12 in the game. Rush 49, Strasburg 16 with 23 seconds to go in the third. Riley Spence behind the three-point line. And then that baseball pass went through a couple of players, taken away by Thomas. Thomas a brush, going to have to slow it down. Dribbles towards the top. Swings it down low for Rule. She banks and misses. Rule goes for the rebound, taken by Segelke. Segelke nearly tied up, and now she is tied up. Possession arrow, Strasburg. And the Indians have the basketball with just three seconds to go. It'll be rolled in towards Hanks. Defender in the air puts it up, and that's going to be well short from behind half court. That's the end of the third quarter. The Lady Bee Diggers in control of this game. Brush 49, Strasburg 16 on 10-10 KSIR and KSIR.com. Back for the final eight minutes. Segel keep banks and misses. And the rebound into the hands of Erica Alpers, her 10th. The Bee Diggers lead here early in the fourth, 49-16 over Strasburg. Riley Spence on the outside left, swings it near the top, poked away by Maddie Rule, and then Rule had the ball stolen away. Stolen by Stone. In the right corner, Hanks, 16-footer, no good. Segelke grabs what is her ninth rebound. There's the outlet to Thomas. Thomas with the basketball towards the top, behind the back, dribbles by one, 13-footer off the glass, hit nothing but glass. Erica Elpers grabs her 11th rebound for Strasburg. Riley Spence, left of the lane, all the way, scoops it up and around and good, but there's a foul before the shot. Committed by Maddie Rule. That's her first. And the bead diggers just looking very, very crisp tonight and solid defensively. 
Left corner, Spence, three in the air, yes. Riley Spence nails the triple for Strasburg. Their first field goal since the second quarter. Here's Thomas to Segelke. Segelke traveled. 49-19 brush with 6.49 to go in the game. We'll have a quick post-game show. The Strasburg boys beat brush tonight 45-42, but different story in the girls' game. Rush against Link. Back out to Spence. Gets a pick from Rush. She might pull up for another three. It's blocked by Rule, and then the ball is tipped towards Rule. Rule baseball pass over to Thomas. Lays it up and in. Off the glass for Aurora Thomas. Nice play by Maddie Rule. And then the Indians want a timeout. Trailing 51-19. to 19. With 6.24 to go in the game. Just a 30-second timeout. Looking to find insurance for your car, home, or even for you in Meyer Phillips Insurance with locations in Brush and Fort Morgan. They can help you with your home, car, health, or life insurance questions or provide a quote to Meyer Phillips Insurance. With 6.24 to go in the game, the Bee Diggers have led since the early portion of the opening quarter. It was tied at 6. Then they went on a 15-0 run. Here come the Indians the other way. Caitlin Hanks at the top on the outside left for Spence. Knocked away by Maddie Rule. Rule with Spence to beat. Lays it up and in with a left hand. She is a special player. Maddie Rule now with 11. Turnover number 20 for Strasburg. 53-19. Six minutes to go. Resch against Link in the left corner. Dribbling to her right. Backs it out to Spence who's just beyond midcourt. Spence getting a pick, dribbles left baseline all the way, scoops it up and misses, but a foul. Nice move by Riley Spence. Maddie Rule commits her second. Spence has got nine of the 19, make it 10 of the 20 points for Strasburg. Very quiet tonight offensively have the Indians been. Lincoln, Berger out. Bills and Unrein are in. Yeah, lots of minutes for most tonight. Free throw is missed. Bills with a rebound, but she's tied up. Possession arrow, Strasburg. So the Indians have another shot here, down by 33. Spence in the left corner to Elpers, back out to Stone. Cross court, here's Hanks. Now to Spence, dribbling left of the lane, in the lane, floaters up, no good. Haley Unrein has the rebound. There's the lob into the front court to Segelke. Segelke nearly traveled, swings it cross court to Thomas behind the three point line. Shot is up and no good rebound. Segelke banks and misses and she's fouled. Well, that's the last thing we need for this game to start taking place at the free throw line when it's already over. Laramie Stone with her first foul. Segelke. Has scored four points, and it's still four. Free throw is off to the left. Second free throw upcoming for Segelke. Well, the Bay Diggers up by 33, 53 to 20. And she bricked that one. Rebound to Rule. Banks and misses. Erica Elpers grabs the rebound. Boy, Maddie Rule had an easy one, but couldn't bring it down. Spence. Into the front court, left of the lane, in the lane, all the way, shot blocked out of bounds by Rule. And she's really their only offensive threat. Let's see who checked in for the beat diggers there. Somebody not on the roster, but I'm sure on the JV roster. Three in the left corner is good. Riley Spence has got a shot. She's got 13. And it's 53-23. They put the points up on the wrong side. Dribbling left baseline in the lane. Scooping up in a foul. Let's see who that is for Brush. Elpers commits the foul. The 
keep hearing Heather uh, Kendall Elliott is who that is for Brush. She's a freshman, and man, a very strong move there right off the bat for Elliott. Free throw rattles in. Her first varsity points. Maddie Kerr about ready to check in. That one is short. Rebound to Rule. Back out to Bills. Her shot is partially blocked. And taken away by Spence. The other way. Three by Spence. It's an air ball, but out of bounds on Kerr. 54-23. And to throw it in for the Indians will be Spence. Left corner for Hanks. Dribbles to her right. Now penetrates left baseline. 10-foot pull-up and a foul by Elliott. Looked like she got a lot of ball, but she got some of the wrist. So to the line will be Hanks. Four thirty-four to go in the game. Free throw. Back rimmed it. Willow Coffee, Tea, and Smoothies, and G Sweets Bakery open six days a week. And that new breakfast board, delicious breakfast burrito with your Willow Coffee or Tea. Second free throw, good. Hopefully we'll get to a point in the game that the fouls will stop. Kerr, front court pass taken by Elliott, and she's fouled. Oh, jeez. That's the fifth team foul, though. The B-Diggers already committed seven. Elpers commits her fourth. She's got 12 rebounds in the game. Elliott to throw it in. Lobs it for Rule, and she misses an easy shot from 10 feet away, but Rule tracks down the rebound for Brush. Now over to Elliott. Left baseline shot. Yes! Kendall Elliott scores again for the Bee Diggers. First from the line, now for the field. 56 24. Spence backs up for a three. Yes. Three triples in the fourth for Spence. 16 in the game. And now we've got a whistle. Ball knocked out of bounds by Strasburg. 56 27. B Diggers take a timeout brought to you by Greg Mon at State Farm Insurance. Home Auto Life and Health. 842 4555. Again, the Strasburg girls won tonight. The boys won tonight, I should say. 45 42, but the Brush girls are going to win this game. They have led by as many as 33. And now it's at 29. Here comes Brush. Pass into Rule, and I think she was fouled. Would be the 16 foul. Committed by Stone, her second. Yeah, I mean, they're playing pressure defense, but let's cut out the fouls here. The game is over. Inbounds to Bills. Jump pass front court to Maddie Kerr. Kerr over to Unrein. On the right wing to Elliott. Dribbling right baseline is Elliott. Double teamed and she traveled. Yeah, that's a freshman mistake. Turnover number 12. But she definitely has game. And what do we have here in the backcourt? A whistle. Ball was never properly inbounded. With 3.44 to go, but this is taking a while just to get this game over with. With a basketball, is Rush on the outside left. Pulls up 15-footer, blocked by Bills, taken away by Elpers, turns, shoots, misses, and Maddie Kerr has the rebound for the B-Diggers, nearly fouled in the backcourt. Maddie Kerr over to Rule, down low, Unrind shot is missed, and then Elliott puts it up and a little bit short, and then the ball's knocked out of bounds by Rule. Well, here comes Strasburg the other way with 3.18 to go. Riley Spence at the top, backs up for a three, and that's short. And the ball is loose. Callie Bills had it, could not control it, still loose, and it's picked up by Unrein. Here comes Elliott the other way for Brush, and we have a foul. 
I mean, this Laramie Stone, man, she's killing me. Committing a lot of fouls here. Well away from the basket, including that one, her third. Molly Link will check in for Callie Bills. And now to the line is Kendall Elliott for the one and one. Free throw by the freshman is up, and that is a beauty. Elliott now with four. B Diggers back up by 30 with 3.06 to go in the game. 57-27. Free throw is up and good again. Elliott has five all in this quarter. 58-27 brush. Three minutes to go in the game. Hanks, 17-footer straight away. Back rimmed. Rebound to Kerr. What an athlete Kerr is. And then she got stripped in the back court. And here's Strasburg the other way. Stone misses. Put back is up and in by Rush. As the Bay Diggers did turn it over. Rush scores for the first time in the game. Kerr in the backcourt. Dribbled the ball off her leg out of bounds. Yep, she's got to just pass the ball. Terrific athlete, but got to pass it. Now Strasburg's going to clear the bench. With players that haven't really played much in this game. Including some that are on the junior varsity roster, it looks like. Brooke Miller, a freshman. On the outside left with the basketball. That is going to be Justin, Justine Landrum. Cross-court pass poked away by Rule. Rule all the way off the glass and in. What a move by Maddie Rule. Off the steal. She's got 14 in the game. B-Diggers lead 60-29. to 29. And we've got a traveling violation in the front court. On... Cheyenne Sorensen. Oh, they're going to pressure. There's the lob into the front court towards Elliott, but it's intercepted by Vea. And then the ball's loose in the floor, taken away by Rule. So the team's trade turnovers. Here is Elliott back out to Kerr. Two minutes to go. Rush 60, Strasburg 29. Yeah, let's spread this thing out. There is Maddie Rule with the ball. Rule to Link at the top. Link looks to her left, dribbles to her left. Bounce pass down low for Unrein. Banks and misses. And then the ball's out of bounds. It's off of Str- uh, Brush. Or no, off of Strasburg. Brush ball. Carter triggered in. Looking, still looking. Lobs it to Link. Link dribbles to her left. Straight away. Here is Kendall Elliott. 17-footer. Back rimmed it. And the long rebound is controlled over there by Brooke Miller. The Indians come the other way. Cross-court pass intercepted by Kerr. Kerr with a one on four. Kerr in the lane all the way. Banks misses. Fouled. She'll go to the line for two with a minute 24 to go in the game. And that foul was committed by Miller. Maddie Kerr has had a nice night on the board. Free throw is up and in and out. Aurora Thomas checks in for Brush for Maddie Rule. Second free throw upcoming. That one's up and that one is good. 61-29 Brush, a minute 20 to go in the game. And we've got a 30-second time and now a full. Well, let's take it with them. 119 to go from Brush. It is Brush 61, Strasburg 29 on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. Lady B Diggers lead 61-29 over Strasburg, and Strasburg has the ball with a minute 15 to go. There's a 15-footer partially blocked, but do we have a foul? We do. Oh, boy. Ay, Dios mío de mi vida. Aurora Thomas commits the foul. And Brooke Miller to the line. For Strasburg, the free throw is in. Thomas with her third foul. Second free throw round and good. 61-31. They play the pressure defense and the beat diggers throw it away. And Landrum banks and misses. Rebound to Miller. She puts it up and misses. And then Miller gets it right back. In the lane, Vea banks, and she misses. Vea again puts it up and misses. That's four misses already. And then a tie for the rebound, possession arrow, Strasburg. 
And with 56 seconds to go, Landrum to throw it in. Left corner for Vea. Here is Landrum, three in the air. No good. Rebound to Strasburg, and they missed that shot. Then finally, Molly Link has a rebound for the B Diggers. Thomas the other way. Thomas for Brush. Into the front court, over to Matty Kerr. 31 seconds to go. Now to Unrein. Floaters around and no good. Rebound put back by Elliott off the back of the rim. Nice rebound, and then they come away with a rebound, and then Elliott commits a foul in the back court. One and one situation with 22.1 seconds to go. A free throw to be attempted by Landrum. That's up. In and out and in. Second free throw upcoming. That is up and perfect. 61-33. Kerr to Elliott. Front court pass to Thomas. B-Diggers with a beautiful job of breaking the press. I do not foul here. Oh, jeez, come on. What are you doing? Uh, what, what are they doing? I mean, they're down by 28. What are you fouling 25 feet away from the basket for? That is ridiculous. Matty Kerr to the line, and that, that should have been intentional. I mean, it's not like they're down by two. They're down by 28. Free throw is up and in and out in the one and one. Rebound to Vea. Into the front court. Long pass is intercepted. That's the way it should end. And the bead diggers hopefully can dribble this out without a foul being committed. And that's indeed the case. Rush bead diggers win the game tonight. 61 to 33. Now let's see if we can just... Uh, Go ahead and quickly do the post-game show. After Brush led 18 to 6 after one. 38 to 15 at the break. 49 to 16 after three with an 11 to 1 third quarter run. They got outscored 17 to 12 in the fourth. But Brush extremely impressive tonight. As they won this game going away. By a count of 61 to 33. B Digger post game show on this Friday night in Brush is brought to you by Mr. D's Ace Home Center with three locations to serve you better Sterling Brush and Fort Morgan. Your headquarters for all your home, farm, and ranch supplies from plumbing to feed. That is Mr. D's Ace Home Center. All right, the B Diggers tonight. Had a big night from several players, but as we customarily do, let's run through the visiting team first. The Strasburg Indians got 16 points from Riley Spence, 11, make it 10 in the fourth. Six points from Caitlin Hanks. Erica Elpers with four. Jordan Resch with two. One from Faith Renault. Two apiece from Brooke Miller and Justine Landrum. The B Diggers got 13 points from Matty Rule, 12 from Lauren Berg, Matty Kerr with 11. Callie Bills at 9 points, 5 apiece from Kendall Elliott and Aurora Thomas. Quincy Segwicki with 4 and 2 for Cami Sweeney. B Diggers with 49 rebounds as opposed to 38 for Strasburg, 13 of those by Erica Elpers. Segwicki had 10 to lead the B-Diggers, 26 turnovers for Strasburg, 16 for Brush. The B-Diggers, 5 out of 11 for the free throw line. Strasburg was 9 out of 12, 75%. B-Diggers improved to 2-0 and in the Patriot League, 2-1 and overall. Strasburg, 1-1 one one in league play, 2-1 and one on the season. Outstanding job by our sound engineer and producer, Julie Garcia. I'm John Beltran. The final scores once again tonight. Strasburg boys defeat Brush 45-42, but the Brush girls win over Strasburg 61-33 on 1010 KSIR 
and KSIR.com.